Okay, this is a double number line video. And what I'm looking for, I'm, I'm actually gonna do uh, kind of an interesting problem, I guess. Um, I'm going to look for a fraction that is directly in between 2 ninths and 4 fifths. Now, to do this, um, well, one way to do this, I guess, there's many ways, um, would be to uh, create a double number line. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a double, I'm going to create a number line up here. And this is going to be um, ninths. And so I'm going to say this is zero ninths. And this is nine ninths. And then I'm going to have my three ninths, six ninths. And I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one ninth, two ninth, three, four, five, six ninth, seven ninths, eight ninths, nine ninths. Um, and I also have a number line down here. Okay, now this is uh, gonna be fifths, right? I'm dealing with this other fraction. So this is zero fifths, and this is five fifths. And let's see, this is about, let's see, one fifth, two fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, and five-fifths. All right, the double, double number line is not having two necessarily. It's really, it's really the fact that I'm going to number this number line on both sides in different ways. You can do this with equivalent fractions, or you could do this with percents and um, dollar amounts. Let's say you're raising money for a, uh, a goal, and you want to raise $300, and you could be halfway there. And on one side of the number line, it would say half, and on the other, it would say 150. Uh, in this case, it's just equivalent fractions. So what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking about, like, what is a common multiple, or maybe what is the LCM of 9 and 5, right? What is the LCM of these two numbers? Where will they meet up? And... Um, it just so happens that these numbers are relatively prime, so they're going to meet up at their product, which is 45. So I could then make 40 fifths out of this number line. Now, I'm not going to make all the 40 fifths, but I'm just going to show you that 45 40 fifths is the same as 5 fifths, and it's the same as 9 ninths. Um, now, what I'm looking for really is what is the, how many 40 fifths is two ninths, and how many forty-fifths is four-fifths, right? This is the guy I'm working for, and this is the guy I'm working for here. So um, each, I could think about this, like each hop on the um, ninths is worth five, right? Because five times nine is forty-five. So this is going to be five forty-fifths, and this is going to be ten forty-fifths and 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, right? So this is the equivalent fraction for two ninths. Now for four fifths, right, each of these hops on a 40 fifths is gonna be, correspondingly, it's gonna be nine, right? So I'm gonna have um, nine 40 fifths, 18, 27, 36, 45. So this is 36 40 fifths, right? So what I've basically done is laid out two number lines where I found uh, equivalent fractions for each of these. So now I'm looking for what's halfway between 10 40 fifths and 36 40 fifths. The difference between 10 and 36, right? We could say 36 minus 10 equals 26. So the difference is 26 40 fifths, right? So this, this is, the difference here is 26 40 fifths. So we just need to find the halfway point, okay? And that is 13 40 fifths. So we're going to have 15, excuse me, we're not gonna have that. Um, we are gonna have 10 40 fifths plus 13 40 fifths. So we're going to have 23, 23 40 fifths. 23 40 fifths. So we go up 13, 23 
40 fifths. And then we go up another 13, and we're at 36 40 fifths, which is this guy right here. All right, it's a little unclear in the drawing, but this is, and I kind of uh, I'm run out of space here, but this, this number here is 23 40 fifths because it is 10 40 fifths and then half the distance of 26 40 fifths between these two, which is 10 plus 13, which is 23 40 fifths.